Makibes. You like that? I like that word. It's a nice word. Greetings! <laughs> Welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel dedicated to smartwatch technology. And we're on the web at smartwatchticks.com. And inside this smartwatch box is a smartwatch from... You got it, Makibes. Look at this presentation. This is felt, folks. This is black felt. I just felt it. Here it is. This. I mean, look how attractive they're making these things now. This is one of those fitness type, uh, kind of a crossover between a band and a watch. It says, please make full charge before turning on the bracelet, which uh, we'll do. Here's the, uh, oh, it looks like there's a little dot there. I'm not sure which is top and which is bottom. Well, we'll get to that. Let's go. Oh, before we open up the rest of the box, let's tell you a little bit about it. From Geek Buying. Hello, Geek Buying. Makibes K5. It's a smart bracelet, they're calling it. All right, it's not a band and it's not a watch. It's in between. Fully waterproof IP68. And in the show notes down below, you'll find a link to hop over here and pick this thing up. And we're looking for a discount for you as well. So check the show notes to get the best buying experience. The highlights for this K5 is its one inch hyper fine TFT color screen. Hmm, that's a new word, hyper fine. Okay, high definition um, pixels, probably a tighter pixel density. It's got pedometer, sleep monitoring, sedentary reminder, all of those. And then it's got the full biometrics for the health band uh, functions like heart rate, blood oxygen, and blood pressure. And it says it's using a whole new kind of chip and technology for better accuracy. IP68, fully submersible, water resistant, and there's a variety of dials available, so you should be able to change those out. Got the call app messenger reminders that you can see. It's not a tethering watch per se. You're not gonna make calls from this one, but you'll be able to see notifications and do remote capture of pictures and such. In the way of specifications for the K5, it's got a little bit of memory in it using Bluetooth 4.0. These are the different functions. And a battery is a 200 milliamp hour with a one to two hour charging time, compatibility, and package contents. So, what else is in the box? Let's take a look. When we hop in here, we find a bag with a little charging. Oh, looky, we're going to get some more bands too. I love it. This is so much fun. Inside here, we say, oh, it's kind of springy, springy little thing. We've got the two prong charger that. Doesn't go that way, but goes this way and holds on to it nice and tight. I guess it's not extra bands. It didn't come with bands, so it's got one set of bands. Sometimes you get two. In this case, we've got yellow. Whoa, whoa, look at that with stripes on it. Well, we'll have to put that together and show it to you as a working unit. We also have the uh, Smart Band User Guide to read carefully in color. The product overview and some beginning information on connection instructions. You're gonna to wanna to tether this to your uh, phone to be able to do the connectivity type things, transfer the data that you collect on it. You able to see that now? Get a good uh, freeze frame of it. You could read it whenever you want. More information about the band and then another page here. I'm not gonna go into detail. This is ancillary information if you feel you need to follow up or want to look at everything all the functions in detail beyond what we cover in the review then feel free come back and you can definitely read this right on your screen i can even read it on my smartphone that's pretty cool there's the band qr code you're going to want to um, scan that in order to get the app that you'll be using to tether and the band installation instructions with some battery information as well Okay, well, as they say, charge it up and turn it on uh, and put it together. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is on. Look at how attractive that is. Nice, huh? It's got the twist wrist to lighten up the screen if you want to, or you touch the button there. You have that screen we press and hold, and we can change some screens in here. Get different kind of views, which are relatively bright. They're not super bright. It's going to be a bit of a challenge outdoors, to be honest with you. It looks like we've got three of them. 
Um, but it is good enough to see uh, indoors pretty nicely. When we tap it and go through the selections, you see we've got step count, barely started using it. We've got distance from the pedometer steps and calories burned with nice graphics. Here's your sleep time from last night and your heart rate information. And this looks like it's continuous heart rate. We'll come back to that. Uh, wow. This looks like sleep time here. Not sure what the other one was. Uh, hours of sleeping. Um, this is an alarm time, it looks like. That's a stopwatch, probably. Find your phone and an information panel with an option to turn the watch off. Okay. This thing also tethers to the app called iBand. And so when you get the two together and do the tethering, you'll be able to transfer the data that you pick up here over to here. We'll take a look at that in a moment as well. So let's go back a little bit deeper. We looked at the watch faces. When we touch on pedometer, we get the QR code to scan, which will bring up iBand. I guess it wants you to transfer that data over. And of course, step count and calories go along with that. When we're in this one, that's a running person. All right, that was a run, a moonlight run. Cycling, uh, another running, swimming, because it's waterproof, and back again. Or you can loop through them, see? Yep, those are your different options. And the category is running, apparently, or fitness. When we're in the heart and we press and hold, it starts pulsing, which to me means it's getting ready to take a uh, heart rate reading. So we'll let that happen and um, see what kind of size digits we get on the screen. Oh, good size. All right. This looks like you're getting heart rate, 76 beats per minute, and blood oxygen showing up on the same screen. That's pretty nice. Press and hold will take us out of that. Tap again. We get into the next biometric, and I'm guessing that this is going to be blood pressure. Press and hold. And we get this little oscillating thing going up and down. And I guess the lines are supposed to mean pressure on the side. Uh, not really changing. And there it is. Systolic over diastolic millimeters of mercury. And it's changing real time. That's our blood pressure reading. Interesting. That didn't take very long at all. And it's oscillating around what could be typical. Again, no claim on accuracy, and be sure you check down below. I got a disclaimer. This is all for entertainment purposes only, and you should really consult with your medical professional and calibrated instruments if you want to trust any of the data you see here. It just vibrated, which means I guess it took that last measurement, and that's what it locked it in for. If I had slept with this last night, I should have a reading there of how many hours of sleep. And at this point, it just gives you that number. Pressing and holding doesn't do anything. Pressing and holding here. Nothing. That's probably you got to do the alarm from the app. And if we press here, we get into a stopwatch mode. And there's hundreds, seconds, and minutes in different colors. We can pause it. We can start it. If we press and hold, nothing if it's in the running mode, so you won't accidentally stop it. But if you pause it, press and hold, that resets it. When it's at zero, press and hold, get you out of it. And I've not done this at all before, so it, I like it when a watch is intuitive and you just do it. If I'm tethered and I'm not, you'd press that and it would make a sound and find your phone for you. And... Uh, yeah, see, it's attempting to do that right now, but we're not connected. So we'll bail out of that. And information about this device is uh, QR code again. They really want you to tether. And then a power off button, which press and hold will shut it down. So from the app iBand, you're going to open that up. That's going to get you uh, to go through your setup so that you give the right permissions for everything. You want to allow all of the band to do all of these good things if you want it to work properly for you. And it tells you a little bit about it with some nice color pictures. Enable. There. Now we are enabled, but there's no device bound. We're going to bind it. Hello. Where'd you go? All right. We have to come over here and bind a new device. K5. Okay.
find this device. I'm doing this because some of you want to see how do you hook a thing up. And uh, the device is bound. The time just changed. It's in 24-hour time. And we're successfully synced. And if I come back to the data, you should see stuff from the main screen like our step count and our sleep time and our heart rate and our blood pressure and our blood oxygen. And any of these, you should be able to take measurements right here, which I did just now. There was the previous heart rate and doing it from within the app is gonna cause it to activate on the band, the bracelet. Here's my running history so far since uh, we downloaded it and tethered it. Okay, it's getting a, a reading now. 67 is matching. There's the real-time numbers coming in as we go. And it should time out on its own after it derives a certain average from the whole thing. It's at 66. And it's still pulsing. Okay. Well, I'm just going to say stop. Maybe it's just going to continue. Oh, no, nope, there it vibrated. There. It's happy with that reading after looking at a variety of them. Oh, okay. And that's it. Nope, it's still coming in. Wow. Anyway, you got to play with this, folks. It's a lot of fun uh, doing all sorts of things. Oh, it also did blood pressure at the same time and blood oxygen. Wow. Real sophisticated. Lots of data in here. No sleep activity from last night, but that's where it would be. Here's my step count. <clears throat> Come on, light up on me. Press and hold to get out of that. Oh, that's starting the measurement again. Okay, we're going to cycle through everything to get back to our step count. To confirm, yeah, we only have 15 steps so far, but there it is. And you'd have a whole bunch of activity that, you know, you can track on here over time as well. When you tap here, you can put in your information. You can do the remote camera type thing. Um, find it. Reminders. Tether with We Run, the smart screen, lift your wrist to see the, uh, the, the illumination will work, or you can turn that feature off at night while you're sleeping. The overall brightness, it's on high, light me up now, normal and low, you see them change? Normal and high. Again, high isn't super high, and low isn't super low either, but... Uh, Ah, here you go. Units, you can do metric or imperial. I'm in U.S. Oops. Reminder, I didn't save it. That's great. So I'll say save, and now the units will all update over here. And time format. We can indeed do, what time is it now? 14-something or other. I'm saving it, and it switched. You see that? So we got the AM, PM capability here. So a pretty nice app as well uh, that goes with this thing. Um, all in all, it's a nice little waterproof, well-designed little fitness uh, bracelet that you can get in a variety of different color bands. And of course, you could change the bands out if you want to. And it's available from Geek Buying right now. Uh-huh. Check the show notes, as I've said before, for a buying link and coupon to pick this thing up. And we will be back with more reviews soon. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.